this was the first generation of cameras which came with a zoom lens. There's no alternative to zoom lenses. Prior to that, in the black and white days, That's you'd right. have a turret with fixed focus lenses, uh, which were cheaper, obviously, but zooms to us were bloody hell. Well, you're looking, you're looking at, a, at a particular object, and so you've got to zoom in, find the focus, which is the other side. You've got the focus knob on this side, so you focus on what you're looking at. You're, generally speaking, especially on outside broadcast, you'd zoom in to the tightest, tightest um, point that you were going to do, set the focus, and then zoom out again. And uh, assuming the lens had been lined up properly, then it would retain its focus throughout the whole range. That is one of the, the most important processes you have to do on outside broadcast now, is making sure the lens tracks, as the word is used. So throughout the whole range, it stays in focus when you set the focus uh, on the point you want to be looking at, so that when you zoom in, it doesn't suddenly all go out of focus and look horrible. <coughs> so that was what we did. We set it all up, and then you've got the, the zoom control. Uh, in your, normally, on British cameramen, it's normally in the left hand, because that's how it was in the studios. That was the pan bar and the, zoom, the focus control on the right-hand side, which is, I'll show you around that one, it's probably quicker, um, with the focus control there. Chain's going to 